Welcome once again to our online viewers. This is the fourth annual Fellowship Classic live from the University of Chicago. Ratner Athletic Stadium. About to start the men's basketball game between the Oakwood University Ambassadors and your Andrews University Cardinals. Committed with the Star Spangled Banner. All right, we're starting to get this up. We got two champions in the house tonight. One of them is going to be the winner. Here's the future. All right, we're going to bring out our guest team tonight. You're going to see Double A Division Two champions. That's right, Andrews University announces back-to-back -back champions. Number two, Kyle Amir. Matt Little, 
Jerome Murray, number three. Those are our three USCAA All-Americans. ready for the men's game. Starting for the Cardinals, Juno Arellis, Cliff Allen, Tyler Woolridge, Matt Little, and Jerome Murray. The USC AA Division I champs versus the Division II champs. Back-to-back -back champions. Your Andrews University Cardinals. Tyler Woodward with the ball. Won by Jerome Murray. Two 20 minute halves. Good ball movement by the Cardinals. Matt Little. Jerome Murray driving to the hoop. The first miss of the game and it's ambassador's ball. Set up an offense. Three pointer by number 24, just off the mark, tipped up. It's going to be Cardinals ball. Can you? Three-pointer, no good by Andrews. Oh, 
Well, I wanted something so I could have here. Yeah, send it to me. Send it to that email. Yeah. Uh, hit that. Oakwood scores the first points of the game, number 14. Three-pointer from Oakwood. And we have uh, Jerome Murray just tried to save the ball, ran out into the crowd there. We have a stolen ball by Andrews. And they can't convert. They miss Jerome Murray with the miss. Oakwood right back down. And stolen again by Jerome Murray of Andrews University. In the need of settling down early. And we got a three-pointer. And you can count it. Thanks. Looks like Jerome Murray landed hard on his tailbone on this. Three-pointer Oakwood. Three-pointer of our own from Andrews University. Number 10. Matt Little with that three-pointer. And we got a three-point shot and a rebound by Jamal Murray. Oh, yeah, it's a title of the 
Foul on the play. It's going to be Ambassadors with the ball. A great start by the Cardinals. Looked like Cliff Allen with the foul there. Three three corners. Three. Three pointer from Oakwood. Andrews turnover. And layup by Oakwood. <laughs> That's going to be a foul in Jerome Murray with shoot two. I don't think it's tense right now, even at the beginning of the game. makes one of two. Tie game 10-10. Good execution by both teams so far. Stolen ball. Look like Tyler Ridgewood shoots a steal. That always looked like a travel to me. Tyler Wood was with the three or the steal. Cliff Allen out. Stephen Blackwood in. Good ball movement by the ambassadors. Driving to the hoop, number 24, and the ambassadors. It's a delight the open fans. Pretty strong drive from the ambassadors. So.
looked like a lane violation on for the Cardinals. This is number 23, Ronnie Clark at the line. Very difficult catch by Tyler Woodward. Cardinals setting up their offense. Stephen Blackwood. Nice work by the two big men. Ambassadors lead by three, swing the ball around, and they throw it out of bounds. Coach Jardin has been pretty quiet so far this game, but his 2-3 zone seems to be working. Pull-up jumper, a three-pointer, rebounded by Joel Murray. It's a pretty deep three-pointer there by the Ambassadors. Yeah, it's just a reflection of tough defense by the Cardinals. Nice inside play. Nice finish to Stephon Blackwood. <laughs> Timeout, Oakwood. Ambassadors up over the Cardinals by one. Managing to get a lot more pressure on this CP zone. Rebounded on that level, set up the team back there. Hard foul. Hard foul by the ambassador player there. Stephen Black will back up. He's going to shoot two. Hustle there from Jerome Murray on that offensive rebound. I spoke to Coach Sardine just before the game, and he was saying 
that uh, he's definitely looking for energy from his players. And so far, he's definitely shown that. Uh, the team has come out strong on defense, lots of energy, lots of fans around the ball. Good defense from Andrews. Stephen Blackwood with that beautiful block. Any of you out there probably remember him blocking a big block he had last year. Matt Little with the long three. Andrews with the offensive rebound again. Ten on the shot clock. Ronaldo Green with that um, missed shot there for Andrews. And it's another rebound for Jerome Murray. Defensive play by the ambassadors. Uh, crowd not happy with the call going Oakwood way. with another turnover. Tyler Woodridge bringing the ball down. <laughs> Ronaldo Green. Uh, Two-pointer here. Seven minutes left in the half. Andrews up by eight. Oakwood walking the ball down. Crowd chanting AU. Looks like Jerome Murray's going to get called with a foul. I'll be back. So we're just taking another timeout. Andrew's currently up by 8, 23 to 15. Great defensive effort in the first half. Started the game with a lot of energy. Trying to get a stranglehold real early. As I said before, Coach Jardine was saying before the game he wanted his team to be energized on defense and have a lot of energy. Uh, he also said that um, 
key today will be communication. That's what they worked on all week in practice. Communication. Working under pressure. Keeping composure as a team. And they think that they leave here with a win. Meanwhile, for the rest of us, we, we just want to see the team win. We just want to see some dunks. We just want to see some high-flying action. And a nice steal, Jerome Murray. Easy layup, freshman. Combat profession. Great hit polite. In the game, we've had some substitutions. Jerome Murray's out. On the floor, we have Ronaldo Green. Great hit polite. Huh? No, I, I forgot to go make it Coach up. Coach Redding is trusting the ball in the hands of the freshman. Good. Good win. He made a great start to his career already. I don't know why I've done that. I don't know. Like there's an offensive foul on one of the screens by the Cardinals. Still up by seven. Six minutes left in the first half. Three-pointer missed. Rebound, Matt Little. Here come the Cardinals once again. Looks like the same setup. Ball to Cliff Allen at the top of the key. Oh. Aaron Pastor try to get it down low. And the Cardinals ball. by five looking to set up another no. this time the foul is on Tyler yep offensive foul Tyler Woodridge with the offensive foul
That's going to basket did not count. Oakwood with the full court press though. Three point Tyler Woodward. That was a dagger. That was a Sequence. Oakley gets the ball. Three minutes left in the half. Stolen by Woodridge. Give it right back to Oakwood. Another wild sequence. The three pointer. That's his first three. It's composed by Oakwood. That's not a very good foul on the push off. Oakwood ball. 2.40 left in the first half. And he's up by five. Long three pointer. And it's good from Oakwood. Junior with the ten footer. Three-pointer from Junior. It was off. Offensive foul. Well, no, I'm sorry. Blocking foul on Tyler Woodridge. Cardinals, number 35, freshman, Chris Owens, number 11, France, number 11, Frank Hippolyte. Take two from the line. Good play by the freshman. He's got to keep his head up. That's a good one. Cardinals with a lot of fouls happening here in the last couple minutes of the first half. Still able to hold on to a three point lead.
now a one point ball game. Turnover, Cardinals. Andrews Cardinals had the steal, fast break, and threw the ball away. Oakwood ball, 24 seconds left on the clock. Approaching the end of the first half. Ambassadors are going to hold on. 10 seconds left on the clock in the first half. Ooh, it seems like it was the second block of the game. Jeff gets a piece of it. And we're going into the half. Cardinals up by one. 30 to 29. Well, at the half time. Half time in Chicago. Andrews leading it by one. <laughs> Halftime show is in effect. Okay, let's hear it for Oakwood Drum Corps. Gonna put on a halftime show for us. And the halftime festivities begin.
And then we have the Oakwood University Drum Corps with the halftime festivities. Drum Corps wrapping up the halftime show.
Okay. All right. All right, so it's half. To, oh, look at this. Yeah. All right, so it's halftime. Well, those of you who are viewing online, it's, uh, currently the Cardinals are currently up by one at half. Um, the men's game with the Fellowship Classic. And so just to take a break, here with me in the booth is Danielle Walker, um, number 12 of the Lady Cardinals, who was selected as the player of the game for the Fellowship Classic. Um, so just say hi to all the fans. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Thanks for watching, listening, supporting. Okay, so so Danielle, I just have a few questions for you, player of the game. Um, what was the atmosphere like? Um, what? This is your first Fellowship Classic, right? Have you ever played anywhere this intense, this big? No, this no, no, definitely not. Okay. Not with this many fans before, no. Okay, so take me through the first the first half of the game. Um, early on, it looked like you guys were struggling to get set offensively. What was going on? Um, honestly, I, I can take responsibility for the first part of the game because I I wasn't doing as well as I should have as a point guard. Like I wasn't, because that's where it all starts, you know, with the point guard. And so that was probably my fault. But um. I think it was partly nerves too, because a lot of a lot of us hadn't have played this the, at like such a big arena before, so that definitely contributed. And it's our second game of the season, so that that definitely contributes too. And um, we haven't really played together, and team so chemistry. yeah, team yeah. chemistry, knowing what the what your teammates are gonna do, that kind of stuff. Okay, so basically everything just came together. It was just so yeah, much second a lot half. Of pressure early. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay, so um, yeah, basically you hit two big threes um, near the end of the game. What was going through your mind? It was a, that must have taken a lot of confidence. Honestly, what happened was I shot that three that I airballed, and you know the crowd was yelling airball, and oh, one of my one of my friends actually when we went to a timeout. He said to me, he was like, shake it off. Well, him and my coach, they both said, shake it off, keep shooting. And so honestly, I just shot the ball. Like, it was just like, all right, I'll shoot it. And then when I hit the one and we came back down, I was like, well, I made that one, I should shoot it again. And so, so I did. And then that kind of, I think that gave us momentum. Like, uh, we were kind of, and the crowd picked us up too. The crowd got really excited about it, so that helped. We have a good crowd. Yeah, we're a very good crowd. Really good crowd. Well, if only, if only they would come out to all the Lady Cardinals games during the regular season. Yeah. Maybe, maybe we would have a run in the USA yeah. at double championships. Um, and then lastly, those two free throws to tie the game. Uh, what, like, describe that to me. What was that feeling? Have you ever hit like two free throws in a clutch? Not situation? like that. Not, not ever? in such a clutch situation. No. Honestly, in high school, I actually, there was a situation like that, and I missed. Oh, I really? missed one of them. Missed yeah. One. So was that going through your head at all, like, while you were at the line? Or? Honestly, the first thought that came to my head when I got fouled was, oh, no, <laughs> I have to shoot these. But then when I hit them, I was like, okay, let's go. Like, it's <laughs> on, you know? And you just think of of how like you have a, a team on your shoulders and like the crowd and like everyone's here supporting you and so you just feel like I gotta do this for them, you know? Yeah. That's great. So know. so so it wasn't entirely pressure, it was you felt the support of the crowd and everything. Yeah. But there was definitely pressure too. <laughs> <laughs> definitely pressure. It's sort of a mix of both. Yeah, it was a both. Just, just the right just, mix. just a little bit. Okay, Danielle, thanks so much for having this interview, and uh, Thank you. Um, good luck on the rest of the season. Thank you. Right, cool. Good Thank job. You. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, perfect time. <laughs> I see that. Okay, and we're about ready to start the second half. Yep. Cardinals up by one. 